Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for February 2nd, or excuse me, February 19th, 2020. You know, it was an interesting day yesterday, so how about we just buckle up and jump right into the Wednesday edition of the morning market prep. This morning, we have... Um, the bulls rallying back um it seems kind of reminds me of that old saying um uh, uh, using the word virus in it virus we don't care about no stinking virus no matter what the news seems to come out no matter how many companies continue to warning uh, warn about the impacts of this virus we don't care um the bulls are on a mission although we did pull back yesterday pretty substantially the bulls finally regained control and they continued to really push on the big tech companies stocks like microsoft amazon facebook those all pushed up yesterday while pretty much everything else in the nasdaq was flat to down but they pushed enough they regained the confidence of the bulls and the bulls rallied back by the end of the day futures opened last night and they stayed positive all night long continuing to push higher we just don't care um, about any of these impacts that may be coming it's it's if the market is saying don't bother me with the details i'm on a mission to hit three uh thirty uh thousand in the market and i don't want to hear anything else so right now bulls are back in control they're pushing higher we're looking at a gap up open this morning um, we do have some resistance of course once we push back we have resistance above that we have to deal with in this market but right now there just seems to be a complete denial that anything is going to bother us as a matter of fact even apple that warned of significant impacts to their next quarter we gapped down on apple but buyers just decided hey we're going to go higher here anyway it doesn't matter so a little concerning to me on that front that we have this capacity to ignore the potential impacts coming what that means is is that we could rally up sharply but once this music stops once we start we finally reach those targets or wherever the the market seems to be driving to just be very very careful not be the to be the last one in the market because there could be some painful um, reversals that result um, as these items start to hit um, actual um, numbers um, in the market so watch that close right now we're in a bullish trend the bulls are back in con in control as of yesterday afternoon they just refuse to go down you can see we're holding in here nicely holding in here on some price support areas and we're moving higher this morning bulls back in control wanting to move higher this morning we have a huge day of earnings reports and uh, news we'll talk about that in just a second second but um, everything seems to be copacetic with the market it just doesn't matter um, how many companies warn yesterday we had um, Jaguar and um, and Land Rover um, warn the market that um, they have about two weeks of parts left and they will have to stop production. And Adidas came out this morning saying that they have seen a decline of 85% of, of product sales um, and activity in China as a result. But hey, that's not good enough for us. Let's push the market higher this morning. And if you take a look at the SPY here, there's reason to say, hey, technically, there's been no breakdown here in the SPY. The SPY holding up in a consolidation here. We have a rather tight consolidation as we continue to move out. We may even be reaching back over here into that trend area. And markets are moving higher. As a matter of fact, looks like there is a great possibility of new record highs in the SPY today. Don't 
don't bother us, we're going higher. Let's take a look at the Qs. Qs also moving higher, opening at a new record high. Open this morning as we continue to stretch out some of these stocks in what I believe to be very parabolic moves. When we take a look at stocks like Microsoft, pretty parabolic in that move when you look at it very very steep in its ascent um, tesla is a uh, crazy um parabolic here in its move so lots of parabolic stocks starting to show up in some of these big techs but there seems to be no price that the market is unwilling to pay. Let's just keep pushing them up. Uh, very reminiscent of 1999. But there's that's what we have going on here. Bulls are still in control, pushing higher relentlessly. Take a look at IWM. IWM um, has struggled a little bit more than the other indexes, but that's nothing unusual. But you can see has held up yesterday and continued to hold up yesterday, bouncing back off of that trend, holding price support right through here and looking to move higher this morning. Bulls back in control. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now, the VIX had a, a rally yesterday, pretty um, decent rally yesterday on um, the news from out of um excuse me um apple and as you can see it popped up here and it had a nice strong bullish uh candle here yesterday but notice by the end of the day they'd push that back down again we don't know we have no fear um, about potential impacts coming um just buy 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 so right now um vix not showing a whole lot of fear here we're staying underneath this price resistance and i would guess that this gap up this morning is likely going to push us back down in this area fear staying very much in control we just want to go up if we take a look at t2122 t2122 is the four week new high new low rate show and you can see yesterday we did even though we pushed back up we did push down here in t2122 now what that tells us is we have um, opened an opening here pretty good sizable opening for an upside move so we have more upside potential in the chart if those bulls continue to remain um, inspired and just um a note that we have pretty sizable downside um, opportunity if those bears re, um, become inspired. Um, another chart I'm going to point out today is T2101, which is, whoops, T2101 is the absolute breadth of the market. And what you can see here by this chart in that absolute breadth is we continue to have fewer and fewer stocks pushing the markets higher. So we're getting these new record high breakouts, but it's a it's fewer and fewer stocks getting it done. Um, it's some of those, uh, particularly in the NASDAQ, it's those really big techs that continue to drive higher. And it, as I've said before, it really doesn't seem how high a stock goes or how parabolic a stock may appear there seems to be a ravenous desire to buy them at any price and as you can see the overall breadth of the market continues to decline so fewer and fewer stocks lifting this market up that's something you want to be aware of um, as we continue to stretch out in this um, rally let's go back and take a look at our economic calendar for today um, and our economic calendar has a few things that we want to be made aware of we have housing starts coming out here first thing this morning 8 30 this morning we'll want to watch for those and we have the ppi number coming out this morning both of those have that potential to move the market around we'll want to make a uh, note that we have fed speakers all day today kind of a parade of fed speakers going on in the market today as well as the 2 p.m um, FOMC minutes. I know the market is kind of hoping they'll they'll be able to glean some dovishness from the FOMC uh, minutes. Uh, market has really been trying to anticipate there will be another rate cut um, as a result of the virus. Um, even though there's been no indication from any of the speakers that that is the case. So they're hoping to glean some kind of a dovish speak in um, those FOMC minutes 
today will want to watch that pretty closely and just remember a lot of volatility can be created around those um, news releases we have a big day on the earnings calendar today about 190 companies reporting earnings so we'll want to pay attention closely to that um, one of the things I would say is we don't have those kind of companies that really um, engender a big market response when they report. But of course, every report is important. Um, Sam Sam Adams will be reporting today. Um, you can see no report here yet, but that's one we'll want to keep an eye on. Um, ALB will be reporting today. Looks like no report just yet on that uh, stock C A whoops C A R reporting today no report there just yet um, fun fun reporting today looks yep no report there yet um, we have Dish Network reporting today we'll want to keep an eye on that looks like they're gapping just a little bit higher on their report this morning. Garmin reports today. They're gapping nicely higher this morning on their report. By the way, for those of you, when I say that and you can't see um, what I'm looking at, if you look right here, TC2000 um, tells me what the bid ask spread here with those two little triangles. So I can see those gap up openings and gap down openings. If you're wondering, how in the heck did you see that? It's right there um, on the chart. So um, you might want to. Um, take a look at that and if you don't use tc2000 i tell you i highly recommend it it is a great piece of software um hst hotels will be reporting today so we have um host hotels we have um hyatt reporting today um as well stmp stamp.com will be reporting today so quite a few companies out there reporting but it once again not any of those big stock companies that we would expect to really move the market um, so keep an eye on those as they continue to roll out throughout the day so with that everyone let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that if you don't mind if you could um, take a moment and click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you can make sure to be notified every time I post one of these videos and hopefully you see these videos are a little bit different than what you might see in other places I don't do any predicting I don't do uh, I don't do the whole hype game what I want to do is look at the technicals of the chart the different things that may be impacting the market in the news and things like that but try to avoid all the emotion and the drama really focusing in on the price action I have the firm belief and I've built a career out of this um, um, 14 almost 15 years uh, full-time as a trader being able to just focus on price action and move with the market not predict it just move with it and that has been very very successful for me and if you find this to be helpful if you could also click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment truly appreciate that and everyone i just want to say thank you for those who take the time to do that it helps us continue to grow the channel and um, you guys are awesome so let's take a look at some stock setting up there's lots of stock Stocks out there that have good patterns, stocks that you want to uh, be paying attention to for potential trades. Um, one of the first stocks I'm going to bring to your attention is I've brought this one up before. Whoops. I can't type this morning. If you take a look at home, home is a very nice pattern. Um, moving up in this trend, as you can see, we broke through this resistance and we're just kind of resting, consolidating that. This is one of those stocks that has a relatively low risk entry on the trade because our stop loss has to be just underneath that price in the trade so a low risk entry which is much much better than those stocks that have already stretched up or maybe testing price resistance levels we want to be buying stocks at or near price support the uh, rather than at or near price resistance and one of the things i love in this chart is breaking that overall downtrend and we have this big open gap above now we have to keep in mind that Earnings are around the corner here still in um, HON 
HOME, if we can get any inspiration in the market, home could rally up nicely and um, push us right up in to fill that gap. Watch that close. Home looking like a pretty darn good chart. Monster, I've been mentioning this one over and over and over. It continues to consolidate. And what we can see here in this chart is there's no sellers below this area. There's really no buyers above this area. We tried to push through yesterday, but that selling yesterday got in the way. Um, of the market and as you can see continuing to consolidate and has moved over to its trend so at any time we want to watch for that opportunity that this could pop out to the top side of course this has the potential it could easily pop to the bottom side that's the other side of the market always but because we are in this very strong trend I want to favor the upside in this move and I will be watching that for an upside breakout monster looking very good bby continues to hold up very well we called this in right way options right in here we break back over the downtrend hold it as support buyer stepped in right here and i know some folks in in right way options picked this up as a trade in here made some nice money but now that is move through this price resistance right here and we're consolidating back over here to the trend uh, bby looking positive and if we take a look right over here you can see it looks like bby wants to move on higher uh, this morning and pop into that resistance up here and maybe even try breaking on through uh, that level so bby holding up nice and strong this morning looking very good take a look at etsy etsy is another one of those trades where we break that longer term downtrend we break above price resistance in the chart and now after pushing up we're resting right in here moving over toward the trend don't be too surprised if this has to do a little pullback or consolidation over toward that trend but etsy looking pretty good looking strong and looking like it wants to push a little higher this morning so keep an eye on etsy it's looking pretty good overall all state had a pullback yesterday tried to pop up but that selling kind of got the better of the market yesterday and pulled all state back now one thing i am a little bit concerned about here in all state is the steepness of this climb notice um, all state normally doesn't climb like that we're, we're more of a 30 degree 45 degree angle company here in all state but um, like a lot of companies right now um, there just seems to be no price buyers aren't willing to pay and we're stretching up in more of a parabolic pattern that being said all state is consolidating over toward its trend here and even though we had that pullback yesterday with the bullishness of the market this morning and sliding closer and closer to that trend we could find that inspiration to pop out here so keep an eye on all state looking pretty darn good overall take a look at shake shack shake shack made its move yesterday popping through there's that nice little pattern again where we move up in that trend we've broken through that major resistance we have this open gap above and there's that consolidation over to trend and pop and we're looking to move on up and maybe fill that gap. Keep an eye on Shake Shack, looking pretty decent overall. One thing you'll wanna remember though, is it reports here in just a few days. So we need that move to occur pretty quickly or we run into the risk of that um, earnings report so keep that in mind other stocks that continue to look good take a look at shopify shopify after its big earnings report gapped up big pulled back but notice right in here nobody seems to want to sell this and we're sliding over toward this trend let's watch this in here shopify may continue on higher a trade that um just for full disclosure um, I'm currently holding ULTA we, we entered right in this area up about 50 plus percent on this trade at the moment and as you can see it's continuing to look very good and look for that potential move higher now this I wouldn't be at all surprised to see this continue to consolidate over in here over toward trend but with the extreme bullishness that we see in this market I'm also not going to be too surprised if this decides hey we're going to steepen this this curve 
and um, really break uh, break higher here. So keep an eye on Ulta. Nice little resting pattern. Very nice chart uh, for potential moves to the upside. You know, guys, there are so many stocks right now to look at that you just can't hardly keep up with, with all of them. Um, one of the things I want to make mention of is some of the safety stocks. And this is another concern for me. If the market is so darn bullish, why is gold and gold stocks moving? up along with silver and bonds so be careful there's some kind of underlying thing going on here that is a little bit difficult to understand that we're so rapidly bullish on the market but safety stocks are moving up strongly NEM nice buy signal yesterday popping up out of this little pop out of the box pattern here's that little resting pattern right here that we watched we drifted a little bit beyond um, that trend that I had marked in here but then pow popped up to the upside and we're testing this resistance in here and it looks like it's going higher this morning uh, gold moving up take a look at GLD gold itself physical gold moving higher that is not normally what you see happen with a rising market but a big move to safety in gold slv also moving higher breaking its downtrend as you can see silver moving up strongly and following through this morning as this odd re rush to safety while the market continues to move up take a look at utilities another safety play and they just continue to scream higher and I think look very, very parabolic. But every, everyone seems to be rushing to safety while the entire market continues to scream higher. Warning sign? Maybe. Something to be paying attention to. And last but not least, if we look at like TLT, 20-year treasury bonds, you can see treasury bonds moved higher yesterday, testing some resistance levels in the chart. Even bonds trying to move up strongly while the market is following through to the upside. So with that, kind of take a note of that and decide how that um, affects your trading today. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And once again, please make sure and take the time to click that subscribe button and leave uh, that thumbs up button. Uh, click that and leave a brief comment. Thank you, everyone. I want to wish you all of the best. We'll talk to you all bright and early Thursday morning. Have a great one, everyone.